there and you can win anything from like yoga gear to straps um, all the way to a free month of yoga. So we'll go ahead and get started as the last two come in in child's pose. You can bring your feet together, knees go wide. You can let your forehead come down to the mat. And taking a moment here to find that ujjayi breath. So a pull in from the nose, a pause, and an exhale out the nose with a pause at the bottom. This ujjayi breath to help us through. To integrate you down onto your mat here this morning. Either a moment to set an intention or to let go of any clutter that might be there here this morning. Find two more breaths here. Inhale. And let it all go. Good. Last one. Inhale. And let it all go. Downward facing dog. Go ahead and curl your toes under. Send those hips back. A few breaths here. A moment to walk out your dog. Feel the breath from your fingertips through the back ankles. Just a few more moments here in your downward dog to let go of any of those cracks to give these last few chances. Good. Walk your hands back to your feet. Hang in ragdoll. Let your head hang heavy here. You can rock side to side. Just a few moments to feel that breath. So we're beginning to awaken through the spine and the backs of the legs. Extended mountain, big breath in, rise all the way up. And hands down to heart center. We'll begin class today with three alms. Big breath in. Oh. Extend and mountain, big breath in, forward fold, let it go. Halfway lift, long, straight spine, chaturanga, hands to mat. Flowing through, upward facing dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale it back. Here, three ujjayi breaths, fill up and let it go. Two more, fill up and release. Last one, fill up. Exhale and move forward. Halfway lift, fold. Extended mountain, inhale, rise up. And fold, let it go. Halfway lift, chaturanga, hands to mat. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale it back. Three ujjayi breaths here right away. Two more, fill up and let it go. Last one, fill up. Exhale and move forward. Halfway lift, fold. Extended mountain, inhale, rise up. Gaze goes up, forward fold, let it go. Halfway lift, chaturanga, hands to mat. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale it back. Again, inhale and let it go. Two more. Last one, fill up. Exhale and move forward. Halfway lift, fold. Extended mountain, rise up, gaze goes up, fold, let it go. Halfway lift, chaturanga, hands to mat. 
upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Again, three ujjayi breaths here, awakening the body. Fill up and release. Last one, fill up and release and move forward. Halfway lift, fold, extend and mountain. Last one, A, rise up, fold, let it go. Halfway lift, chaturanga, hands to mat. Upward facing dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale it back, fill up and release. Two more, fill up and exhale. Last one, fill up, exhale and move forward. Halfway lift, fold, thunderbolt, go ahead, inhale, arms up, fold, let it go. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, hands to mat, upward facing dog, inhale, downward facing dog, right foot forward, warrior one, inhale, rise up, chaturanga, exhale your whole weight down to the mat, flowing through, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left foot forward, warrior one, inhale, rise up, chaturanga, exhale your whole weight down to your mat, Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, three ujjayi breaths here, filling up completely and emptying the lungs out. Last one, fill up. Exhale and move forward. Halfway lift, fold. Chair pose, inhale, arms up, fold. Halfway lift, chaturanga, hands to mat. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right foot forward, warrior one, inhale, rise up, chaturanga, exhale your whole way down, yeah, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left foot forward, inhale, rise, chaturanga, exhale down, <sighs> meeting one downward facing dog, <sighs> for again, three powerful breaths here. Inhale, and let it go. Last one, fill up. Exhale and move forward. Halfway lift, fold. Chair pose, inhale, arms up. Fold, let it go. Halfway lift, chaturanga, hands to mat. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right foot forward, inhale, rise. Chaturanga, exhale all the way down, staying with this breath and movement connection. Good. Left foot goes forward, floating to the other side. Chaturanga, hands come down. <sighs> Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. <sighs> yeah, three big, powerful breaths here. <sighs> Good. Fill up and exhale. <sighs> Last one, fill up. Exhale and move forward. Halfway lift, fold. Chair pose, inhale, arms up. Fold, let it go. Halfway lift, chaturanga, hands to mat. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right foot forward, warrior one, inhale, rise, chaturanga. Floating through to your other side, staying true to your breath and movement, left side forward, chaturanga, hands come down, <sighs> upward facing dog, downward facing dog, <sighs> can three big powerful breaths here. <sighs> Good, last one, fill up. Exhale and move forward. Last sun B, half lift. Fold. Chair pose. Fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, hands to mat. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right foot forward. Warrior one. Inhale, rise. Chaturanga, exhale down. Nice and strong in your movements. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left foot forward. Chaturanga, exhale down, <sighs> upward facing dog, downward facing dog, <sighs> two breaths here to get rid of that, fill up, let it go, <sighs> last one, fill up, and let it go, 
right leg goes straight back. You can bend your knee, open up your hip. Staying true to that ujjayi breath here, allowing that to help stay present. If you're headed there, you can go ahead and flip your dog. Feet on 12 o'clock right as you land. So pulling those toes in together, nice adjustment. Finding two more breaths here, staying nice and steady, looking for your full expression in your flip dog. Beautiful, hand comes down, side plank. Allowing your side plank to take on whatever form, whether that's both feet straight out and knee on the ground. Greg's got a leg up in the air, staying nice and present to your ujjayi breath. You have one more here. Beautiful, hands come down, chaturanga, exhale all the way down, flowing through. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Yeah, two more breaths like that. Fill up, let it go. One more fill up, then let it go. Now we're ready. Left leg goes back, three legged dog. Yeah, beautiful. You can bend your knee, beginning to open up that hip. And when you're ready, go ahead and flip your dog. A moment first to check in with those feet. Steady breaths to help lift up, finding your full expression here. Beautiful. A hand comes down, side plank. Left hand down, right arm goes up. Yeah, finding your version here, whether that's like Greg, got a leg in the air, maybe you have a knee down. Wherever you are, nice and strong with your breath. Beautiful. Hands come down, chaturanga, flowing through, upward facing dog. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale it back. Just one more breath here, fill up, and let it go. Right foot forward, crescent lunge. As you're here, a moment to first check in, so we're staying with that ujjayi breath. Sending a one awareness to your feet, we're grounding down through the four corners. There's action in that back leg. Good, hands to heart center, revolving crescent lunge. As you're here, as your ujjayi breath is doing the work, you might be able to open up those arms, accessing a bit of a deeper stretch. Again, accessing length as well. Good, come on back to center, crescent lunge. We have two breaths here to sink deep, to stay nice and present. Good, last one, fill up. Exhale, warrior two, drop your back ankle. Looking for a straight line through our feet. Good, we have three strong breaths here. With each exhale, you're sinking a little bit deeper. Your inhale, maybe finding some more length and space in the shoulders. You have one more breath here. Beautiful, extended side angle. Hand can come down to a block or your leg, wherever you're at. Good, one more breath here, nice and powerful. Beautiful, hands come down, chaturanga. Flowing through, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. One breath to clear away, inhale. Sigh it out, let it go. Left foot forward, crescent lunge. Again, balancing ourselves out here. A moment first to check in. We're nice and grounded through the four corners of our feet. That front knee isn't going over those toes. Good, using your breath to sink deep, to find the length in your crescent lunge. Hands to heart center, revolving crescent lunge. Our ujjayi breath here, doing the work for us. So that creating the twist, that creating the length. 
we get to just focus on that deep inhale, the pause, the strong exhale. Good. Come on back to center. Crescent lunge. Again, just two breaths here to sink in, to show up for yourself, to be right here in this pose. Beautiful. Warrior two. Drop that back ankle. Steady breath, allowing you to sink in deep. Good. Again, that inhale, finding length in the shoulders. Exhale, sinking deep into your lunge. Extended side angle, hand can come down to a block. Beautiful, hands come down, chaturanga, flowing through, upward facing dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale it back. One more, fill up, exhale and move forward. Halfway lift, fold, thunderbolt, inhale, arms up. Go ahead and sit on deep. So again, a moment to first check in. And then we have three breaths here. Good, fill up. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Good, fill up. Exhale, sink deep. Good. Hands to heart center. Twist to the left. Thunderbolt prayer twist. We have three steady breaths here. Again, as you're here, you might be able to open up your arms, accessing a deeper stretch, a further bind. Beautiful. Inhale. Come on back to center and fold fingers to toes forward fold allow your feet to go wide our ujjayi breaths here working to send those sit bones up maybe creating some space in the backs of the legs your inhale maybe creating space through each vertebrae in our spine you have one more here take what you need Get rid of the rest, good. Go ahead and release your fingers. Halfway lift, inhale, fold, let it go. Thunderbolt, inhale, arms up, sit on deep. And I'm not gonna make you breathe three times again, but so meet yourself there, go nice and deep where we were. Hands to heart center, twist to the left. Just three breaths here to show up, to open up those arms, find your fullest expression here. Good. On your next inhale, come on back to center and fold. Palms to toes, forward fold. You can take your feet wide on the mat. And again, our ujjayi breaths here, working to create some space. Yeah, so maybe that's wiggle side, wiggling side to side or the shaking of the head. <sighs> Go ahead and release on out, crow pose. Your hands are already down on your mat. <sighs> Staying true to your ujjayi breath, playing around with crow here this morning. <sighs> Beautiful chaturanga, feet go back, upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale it back. Two breaths here, fill up, then let it go, side out. Last one, fill up, and side out. Head move forward, halfway lift, fold. Inhale up to standing, eagle right side, right arm under, right leg over. Staying true to that ujjayi breath, helping to pull into center line. Good, release on out, eagle left side, left arm under, left leg over. Your breath being the tool to help sink in, to help press those thighs together. Good, go ahead and release on out, eagle, right side, right arm under, right leg over. 
a chance now to see what's possible. Our breath to play around with those edge points, those barriers that we set or that we think we do. Good, you have two more breaths here to raise those hands. Maybe play around with pressing those thighs in just a bit more. Good, release on down, eagle, left side, left arm under, left leg over. A new opportunity here to play around, to see what's possible. Good, just two more breaths again to maybe press those thighs in, to sit a little bit deeper, to see what's possible here and now. And release on down, standing leg raise, right side. Wherever you're at, whether you're grabbing for a toe, using a strap, or just coming for our knee. Standing nice and tall, good. Lots of flexion in that lifted foot. You can open up to the side, sending the gaze the opposite way. Staying true to that ujjayi breath. If you can't hear your neighbor, breathe for them. Good, come on back to center, big breath in. Exhale to airplane, send that foot back. Good, you have two more breaths here to play around, to see what's possible to kick through that foot. Yeah, see, play around with your balance here. Beautiful, half moon, nice and gently opening on up. Hand can come down to a block or the mat. Good, two more breaths here to play around to see what's possible. Good, you can release on down, standing leg raise, left side. Staying nice and tall again, looking for flexion in that foot wherever you're at. Open up to the side, send the gaze the opposite way. Good, back to center, big breath in, and airplane, exhale it back. And then as you're here, your steady breaths to play around, maybe to find some more action in that back lifted foot, helping to lift and balance the chest out. Beautiful, half moon, open up to the side. And as you're there, breaths to help work with our defaults, with our comfort zones that we just like to go to and hang out. We're going to work with it. Beautiful. Release on down. We have dancer right side. Finding your drishti point, your gaze out in front of you. Pulling into your ujjayi breath. exploring your dancer here this morning. You have two more breaths here on this dancer right side to play around to see what's possible. Good, release on down. Dancer, left side, reach back, grab the inside of that left ankle. And breath to sink back in, good. You have two more breaths here to play around, to kick that foot back, to access a new dancer. Good, release down, dancer right side again. Just three breaths here, quick and easy. Maybe not so easy, quick and steady breaths. Let's stay with that. Good, just two more to play around, to find the wiggles, the shakes and see what's possible. Beautiful. Go ahead and release on down. Dancer, left side, our last one here. A breath to be a yes for it, a breath to be here. And then go ahead and sink in again. Just three nice, steady breaths. 
to be here and now. Good, go ahead and release on down tree right side wherever you're at, whether it's a kickstand inside of your shin or thigh. We have three breaths here. A moment first to grow our tree big in this first one. Good, just two more breaths. Fill up and release. The last one. Good, tree left side again. Foot goes anywhere but the inside of our knee. Moment first to stand up tall, and then again, those three Ujjayi breaths. You can go for a bind behind the back, wherever you're at. We have two more here. Good, release on down, extended mountain, big, tall, gaze goes up, forward fold, let it all go. Halfway lift, chaturanga, exhale all the way down, upward facing dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale it back. Right foot forward, triangle pose. As we're here, we're staying with that ujjayi breath to sort of find the pose in our body so it doesn't happen right away. Some breaths to clear out, maybe some of the clutter, the tightness that first shows up. Good, come on back up to standing, side facing, wide leg, forward fold, toes go to the long edge of the mat. Here for this first one, finding some movement, some lunges side to side, maybe they're small or deep to each side. Come on back to center. Using that core, come up to standing into namaste, front facing forward fold. Turning the toes towards the short edge of our mat, allowing your feet to stay wide. So one on either side of your mat. Beautiful. Again, a chance for our breaths to do some work here. So each inhale, some length in the spine. Exhale, folding down a bit more creating that space, opening us up. Beautiful twisting triangle. Left hand comes down to the mat, right arm goes open wide. And those ujjayi breaths accessing a bit more, allowing a deeper stretch, maybe some more space. You just have one more moment here. Full hands to the mat, chaturanga flowing through, upward facing dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale it back, left foot forward, triangle pose, balancing ourselves out here with our left side. Again, those breaths now working to access this grounding, to find the length and space. Good. Come on up to standing, side facing, wide leg, forward fold. Hinging down. Yeah, this time maybe going for a bind behind the back. Playing around with inversions. That's where you're headed. Steady breaths, creating lots of space wherever that's showing up for you. Maybe it's the backs of the legs. Maybe it's through the spine. Good. Inversions carefully make your way down. You can gently come on up to standing and into namaste, front facing forward fold on the side. Again, our feet can stay wide on the mat. 
a moment first, check in and then hinge forward again. Our breaths, our inhale, creating space. Exhale, allowing yourself to fold a bit more. Sending breaths to anywhere that that flight or flight might be showing up, the shakes. Beautiful, twisting triangle. Right hand comes down to the mat or block. We'll open up wide. Good, both hands come down to the mat. Chaturanga flowing through, upward facing dog. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale it back. Come out to a high plank position. And from there, slowly lower yourself all the way down to your mat. Both hands go straight behind you. Locus number one, go ahead and lift up, working to lift our chest up wide. As we begin to get into our igniting series, you can go ahead and lower down. And locust number two, go ahead and lift up. Yeah, you can reach for a bind this time or just keeping those hands straight back. And steady breaths to help peel that chest up and off the mat, creating lots of action here now. Good, go ahead and lower all the way down. Two floor bows are next, reaching back. Grab your ankles the outsides of your ankles and go ahead and lift on up, staying with your ujjayi breath to see what's possible here and now in your floor bow. Good. Carefully release your feet down. You can rock them side to side. A moment to reset and a moment to come from you are ready now to be a yes for this floor bow. Go ahead and reach back for those ankles and lift up floor bow number two. Nice steady breaths here, playing around with what's possible. Your inhale is helping to kick on back. Yeah, I see some rocking, playing around with it. Beautiful. You can carefully release your feet, rock them side to side. Beautiful. Hands at your lower ribs, upward facing dog, big inhale, downward facing dog, send it back, camel pose, come on down to your knees. We do have two reaching up and back and either going for those back pockets or if possible, reaching for those ankles. Again, we're staying with our ujjayi breaths, helping to open up this chest. Good, carefully release up and out of camel. A moment to reset. And camel number two. Go ahead, reach up and back here. Like I was coming around, pressing between those shoulder blades, our chest opening wide. Staying true to your ujjayi breath. Staying nice and strong, this chest of light beaming up and out. Beautiful, carefully release on out, take a moment and swing around for bridge pose. Coming down onto your back, feet about hip width distance. And go ahead and lift on up, bridge number one. You can shimmy your shoulders up underneath for a big strong foundation. Good, staying with your ujjayi breath. We'll hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Good, go ahead and lower all the way down. Six wheels are next. Go ahead and place those hands behind you. And inhale, lift on up. Wheel number one, we'll hold each for five, four, three, two, one. One, good, tuck your chin, lower down, a breath to reset. And wheel number two, go ahead, inhale, lift up again for five, four, three, two, one. Good, tuck your chin, lower down, a breath to reset. And wheel number three, inhale, lift on up. 
that again for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Tuck your chin lower down. We'll breath to reset. We're halfway done. Wheel number four. Inhale, lift on up again. Just five strong seconds here. Full expressions. Tuck your chin lower down. Good. A breath to reset. And wheel number five. Inhale, lift on up. Beautiful. Showing up for yourself here today. You can hold this here or tuck your chin lower down for that last one. Again, a breath to reset. If you're holding it, staying nice and strong. Good. Inhale, lift on up for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Tuck your chin lower down. Supta Baddha Konasana. Feet together, knees can go wide. You can place one hand on your belly, one on your heart, connecting back to that diaphragmic ujjayi breath here. Big inhales, the pause, the exhale, and the pause. Good, nice and reconnected with that ujjayi breath. Dead bug or happy baby, take your knees wide, staying still for dead bug, rocking side to side for happy baby. Good, staying with that ujjayi breath. It likes to go quiet through this part. Perfect. Both feet go straight up towards the ceiling, nice and flexed. You can um, place your hands under your lower um, buttocks area for some extra support. Take a big breath in. Exhale and lower the right leg down. Breath in. Rise that leg. And switch sides. Good. Breath in. Raise that leg. Exhale the right down. Inhale back up, exhale the left down, inhale back up. Good. Going into scissor legs and finding your breath and movement connection. Staying nice and true to that, allowing that to access this lower core, keeping lots of action in the foot to help take some of the pressure off. You have it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Good. Send both feet straight up. Give yourself a breath to reset. Inhale. Let it go. Perfect. Now we're ready. Breath in. Exhale down to 30 degrees. Good. Breath in. Exhale down to 60. Good. Breath in. Exhale down to hover. You can look up at them. Just strong, straight line here. Send them straight back up. A breath to reset. And now we're ready. Big breath in. Exhale down 30. Good. Inhale. Exhale down to 60. Breath in. Exhale down to hover. You can flutter kick here if you would like. Beautiful. Send them straight back up. A breath to reset. And one more like that. Big breath in. Exhale down to 30. Good. Breath in. Exhale down to 60. Breath in. Exhale down to hover. Pendulum here. It's our last few moments in these 60, 30. Absolutely beautiful. Send them straight back up. A breath to reset. Hug your knees in. Give yourself that big old squeeze. What's next are abdominal twists. So setting up knees right above heart, or knees right above our hips, rather. And coming back, hands behind the head. And begin twisting opposite elbow to opposite knee. Again, finding a breath and movement connection. <sighs> Inhale back to center. Exhale, twist it out. Beautiful. Find it for five, four, Three, two, and one. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock and roll on your spine three times. Give yourself that little massage. And we'll meet in boat pose. Here in boat pose, sitting up nice and tall. And we'll find this three times. Big breath in. 
then lower down. <sighs> Good, breath in, high boat. Exhale down to low boat. Good, just one more, back up and lower down. This is it, inhale up. Good, hug your knees in, drop that forehead down. Give yourself a big old squeeze. And we'll shoot back um, into downward facing dog. So just send our feet back. We'll go ahead and raise our right leg. This last part of stability, we're going to inhale, crunch it, knee to nose. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, crunch, knee to nose. Good. Exhale back. Inhale, knee to nose. Big crunch here. Exhale back. One more. Send it forward. Big crunch. Good. Send it back. And we'll go ahead and switch sides. So raise that left leg. And again, just five on this side. Inhale, crunch. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, crunch. Send it back. Good. Inhale, crunch. Send it back. Just one more. Inhale, crunch. And send it back. Perfect. Uh, we'll set up for double or half pigeon on the right side. So go ahead and bring that right leg forward. Coming to that Ujjayi breath here, that's going to allow you to sink into the pose. That's going to allow you to create the space. It's also working here to help us stay patient. Allowing the pose and the breath to simply do the work. And we get the privilege of just focusing on that breath. The breath will do the work. We'll create the space, create the opening. And as we're here and our breath is doing the work, you can adjust yourself. Sometimes for me, I think I have to stay perfectly still. As your breath's doing the work here, maybe you're sinking a little bit deeper, playing around with the tucking and untucking of your back toes. You have five more breaths here. Don't miss what they have to offer for you. Good, and when you're fully um, with your exhale, you can go ahead and switch sides, however that looks for you, whether you're going into downward facing dog or just swinging that leg around. We'll set up for half pigeon on the left. Again, that grace and ease here in the beginning. To acknowledge it might feel a little bit different, to know that our breath is going to work here to clear the space, allow us to sink in. Helping you to stay present and patient on this left side, just as we did on the right.
Again, you have five more breaths here to sink in. To take full advantage of all the work you've put in this far. And to know that right now is all we have left in this pose. Good, you can carefully release on out. We'll set up for a double pigeon on the right side. If you need to go into downward dog, give yourself that counter stretch. Go ahead, if not, we'll swing that leg around and set up for a double pigeon on the right. Lots of different variations that this pose can take on. We're looking for nice flexed feet. The use of a block is beneficial. Moment to first sit up nice and tall. Hands can go behind you. This might be good and plenty, and if not, you can go out in front of you and begin to hinge forward. Again, our breath doing a lot of work here. And lucky for us, we can just stay nice and focused on that. Big breaths in. And exhale to let go, wash away. Beautiful, carefully release out and we'll switch sides. Double pigeon on the left. Again, if moment to first, find your double pigeon on this side, set up any props. Moment to sit up nice and tall. Then hinging forward. Good. Carefully release out. We'll switch to Dom Frog. Pose, hips, feet, and ankles all at 90 degrees. Different options and variations here. But in this last part of our opening sequence, staying true to that Ujjayi breath, it working here to create space. This is a pose you find with fight or flight, working to calm the mind, to stay present and patient here. Another pose here where it's okay to adjust, to spread the feet maybe a little bit wider. Maybe there's some rocking side to side. <sighs> Taking full advantage here and now of all the work we've put in so far, we have five more breaths here, so stay patient. Beautiful, nice and gently, you can come on out of frog and back to a seated position on your mat. We'll set up for a seated single leg extension on the right side. So a moment first to sit up nice and tall, big breath in to find that length in the spine. And then you can exhale down towards that foot. Knowing that bend in the knee is fine. 
our breath now working here to again, yeah, create that space in the spine, but then helping to fold forward. You have three more to access this rejuvenation through the backs of our legs, through your spine and the back of your neck. Good, carefully release on out and switch sides. Seated single leg extension on the left. Again, a big breath in to sit up nice and tall and then exhale, hinge down. Each exhale allowing you to fold a little bit more to access a bigger release. Good, carefully release out, seated forward fold, both feet straight out in front of you. Again, big breath in to sit up nice and tall, exhale, hinge forward. Again, three breaths here to be nice and present to access this release, to create lots of space. Good, release out, tabletop position, fingertips towards the body, allowing our chest to lift open and wide. Beautiful, release on down, fish pose. You can place a block between your shoulder blades or using your arms. Working here to open up our chest wide. Huge release in a place that a lot of people tend to carry stress and clutter. A place gravity in our normal day to day life likes to hunch over, likes to close off. And as we're here in fish pose, you can carefully roll over to your side, removing that block, coming down to your mat. You can move on to headstand or shoulder stands. However you're working to get your hips above your heart. That's inversions, playing around with that. Working here to access this rejuvenation, this final recycling, recircling of blood, of energy that we might have released. Shoulder stands can come to plow. And plow to deaf man's pose. And 
And from there, slowly rolling all the way out to your back. You can hug your knees into your chest. Supine twist to the right. Knees to the right, gaze to the left. Our breath now beginning to fall softer. but gently working here, helping to open up the supine twist. Staying nice and present here, maybe a bit longer than what we're used to. Gently come on back to center. You can hug your knees in. Supine twist to the left. Knees to the left. Gaze over to the right. Again, that grace to first just get into the pose. Breath helping to work away. Any lasting tension. Can gently come on back to center. Supta Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees go wide. There is a cool eye towel near your head if you would like to take advantage of that. set up in Shavasana, allowing yourself to sit up nice and comfortably on your mat, palms facing up.
moment here first to settle in, relaxing any tension in the jaw. Relaxing the shoulders. Letting your feet fall heavy. Finish your business with people. Unfinished business with others is the biggest block to an open heart, the biggest block to peace, the biggest block to joy. The tangled cords that bind us to the past are easy to find. All we need to do is become quiet and listen to the voice of our heart. Who do we resent? Who are we angry with? Who have we been hurt by? Who are the people we aren't at peace? with yet. That is our unfinished business. That is the unfinished business of the heart. Look deep inside, finding your secrets find the not so quite finished pieces. Then discover what you need to finish. Often, the answer is only a breath away. a breath of fresh air, a breath of forgiveness, a breath of love, I encourage you to take that breath. Let the past go. Let it go in peace, thankful for all you've learned along the way.
Nice and gently, you can bring some movement to your fingers and toes, rolling out your wrists and ankles, bending knees and elbows, maybe a full body stretch. Gently rolling over to your side. One final moment to set that intention to take that breath. If something showed up for you, a moment to claim that for yourself. Good, and then gently come up to a seated position on your mat, eyes opened or closed. Big breath in, arms overhead, one final stretch. Exhale, hands down to heart center, and we'll end class as we began with three alms. Big breath in. to forehead center. Namaste. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday afternoon, wherever you're at. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you.